Greetings YouTube, it has been almost two full months since Lucas here sent me what he calls the best luck he has ever seen in the game. And look, the gauntlet, as great as it was, is over. Kabam has alluded to the fact that they want to bring it back, but who knows when that will be. So, you know, these gauntlet videos, kind of like a lot of stuff I post on my channel, it's not about the views, it's not about the clicks, it's about the community. I owe it to Lucas to honor the best luck he has ever received, or at least uh, claimed to have received, by commentating this. And I just want him to know that uh, even after two months, I can still be counted on, even if it's just for data purposes. So, without further ado, let's see why he says this is the best luck he has ever done. And I appreciate your patience as you have waited about 60 days for this to be commentated. You also submitted it via Dropbox. Lucas, or as he calls himself from the game, Luke or Luck underscore V19. If I said, hey, you're going to Luck V19 in college, I'm pretty sure I would have been arrested. All right, here we go. Mutant. God, I miss these selectors. Mama Bear, if you're watching this, you need these. She is so close to being Thronebreaker. Uh, but she needs Cosmic, and uh, that's exactly what she needs. But I don't think he's going to go with that. He's going to go with Skill, and I wonder why that is. Maybe he's got Aegon, maybe he's got Nick Fury. Those are my two top choices. <laughs> There's the Nexus. Here's the Rank Up Gem. This Rank Up Gem is so important. Although I have multiple, including a generic, that I've been patiently hoarding. This rank up gym is going to stop on skill. Well, he chose the skill for the uh, tier 5 class catalyst fully formed, I might add, 100%. So maybe, just maybe, that will come in handy with this. Although maybe also they're already at rank 2. Hmm. Now we have uh, the old featured 6 star. And he is buying three of them. 45,000 six-star shards worth of featured six-star crystals. It's always nice to go back in time and be like, oh yeah, that's what the featured looked like. And the first one is going to give him... Is it Dollar General Batman going to be one of these? Because that would make sense why he said it was his best luck. Morningstar is solid, but I don't think she's automatically worth 15,000 six-star shards. Just not, just not going to buy it. But hey, you awakened her soul. There's that. Second one is Immortal Abomination. Woo! Is that a first time awakening of that six star too? Yes, Toxic Husk. Again, something you should probably go to the ER if you tell a friend, hey, I woke up with a really bad Toxic Husk. Yeah, I can't help you. And Jubilation on the last one, though, Spider Ham would have been way better. But hey, new six stars, new six star. I don't know anybody that uses Jubilee daily i know people who like using her but there's liking liking there's enjoying using somebody and there's actually using them in questing two completely different things all right let's see he already awakened a mortal abomination which is amazing pool let's see if the nexus is going to give him something better awakening of elsa solid guillotine meh terax okay well i would call this like the middle to upper middle tier of the classes. I think Elsa is clearly the best of the three. I love Elsa. My Elsa is ranked two unawakened, and she still kills it, mainly because I uh, run full suicide. So, so the fight starts out, and he's degening or she's degen. The defender's degening like crazy. Um, the question is, would you go? Would you awaken Elsa or would you pick Terax? That's an interesting debate. I think the majority would say, despite the arena points, to awaken Elsa. I think that's the popular decision. Lucas. That's still a really solid pool. I don't want to diminish it. I, I think you could easily argue Elsa in the right uh, context and the right fight is God tier. I just don't think she's quite as obvious as Nick Fury or Aegon. Now, Nick Fury is awakened. Aegon is not. Though he might be... Is that rank 1 or rank 2 Aegon? Obviously, he, you can rank him, him up now. It's always tough to tell, depending on the overall PI of champions. Might already be ranked two. Huh. Do you have a generic or class-based awakening gym? No. 
Huh. Interesting. Mortal Abomination was then certainly the best pull of this. And he's just kind of showing us his inventory. Two mutant. Man. So many good mutants out there, too. It looks like he's waiting for Aegon, but he's got to awaken him. He does not have any way to do that right now in his inventory. Of course, it's been a while. This was before July 4th, after all. Well, Lucas, I'm sorry about the delay. I know there's a lot of you who are like, 60 days? I've been waiting 60 years. But uh, at least I got to it. And uh, how would you rate this? I'd, I'd give it a B to B plus, worth of luck. That Immortal A-bomb was a beautiful pull. but uh, And Awakening Elsa is good, but if his goal was to choose the fully formed tier 5 class catalyst in order to take uh, Aegon to rank 3 and hopefully to awaken him well you got the material needed for rank 3 but you did not awaken him and you should never take Aegon up unawakened no way that's like taking Nick Fury up without uh, even being Sig 1 which is all Nick Fury needs there we go YouTube uh, Lucas thanks again for the submission and the patience I hope that you are thankful at least that better late than never this made it on my channel